Hello everyone, the structure here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a brand new mission that is included in this update, or whenever it will release, and it's very interesting. So, as you may have seen in some of my videos, I have over 700 hours, or about 700 hours, in this game, just on this save alone. So, I have gotten the campaign done once, and I have gotten everything pretty much done except for cooking. But, there is a brand new main mission, and I'm going to go ahead and get to it. So let's go ahead and check it out. So, as you can see, I am in the Anomaly, and the expedition will run for the next two days as of the time of recording this video. This is in the Experimental Branch. So, if I go to my main missions, there is a third new one called Atlas Eternal. What you basically have to do is you have to give a wonder to show the Atlas. And it's there's some weird dialogue and we're going to get to that. But this is a new main mission and as far as I can tell, there isn't necessarily an end to this one unless you just run out of wonders to give. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And this only happens when you've accepted the Atlas's guidance. If you rejected it, I'm pretty sure you don't get this mission. So, your choice might actually matter. Don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure that there might be a consequence to not accepting the Atlas's guidance. So, I'm gonna hop in my beautiful Catalyst ship here, or it's called the Starborn Runner, and we're gonna head out, and I'm gonna go show you exactly how to do this, and where, or basically what happens. Okay, so pretty much it's just like your regular Atlas mission. You go, you warp to the Atlas station, and pretty much it's the exact same thing as that. Now, if you're an endgame player and you accepted the guidance of the Atlas, there wouldn't be any way for you to go back to the Atlas unless it showed up during a community expedition mission or a community weekend mission. So, this is very interesting to see. Also, this nebula is beautiful. Wow. But as you can see, the Atlas interface is discovered. So, we're gonna go ahead, go inside. Now, I don't know if you necessarily saw it through the sped up footage, but you're seeing it now. The Atlas is shielded, so that is also very strange, and if you don't know, my my little guy here is also the same Atlas. This is a shielded Atlas, the same one. <laughs> it's very funny, I like it. But you can go ahead, get this stuff, these give you warp cells, and you can interact with it. The Atlas has created infinite stars, infinite worlds, infinite life. I cannot see them all, nor even truly begin to understand the multitude of existence. But perhaps, even among these endless wonders, each moment can still have meaning. Any atom may seed a new universe, if viewed the right way. So pretty much, you get presented these three options, and you can't like necessarily choose which ones you want to do. The, like, so if I wanted to show the atlas my home world the one that i built or i'm building my hub on i can't choose it here but this is a planet in my system so i'm gonna choose planet terra nova i present the atlas what i discovered about the planet terra nova it shudders in response as if the fabric of space-time were to sigh somewhere out in the beyond a new star is born seeded by what i have seen and that's pretty much it so you kind of just hop from atlas interface to atlas interface pretty much just showing it all of your wonders you don't really get much in return as of yet as far as i'm aware um all this loot is still my own but i don't necessarily know what the point of this is but you can show the atlas your wonders maybe this might have some much bigger use in the future but i don't necessarily know 
or do I even think it's going to have like a much bigger use? But of course, we'll see. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it and you're excited to get the update within a few days, hopefully, then make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell to protect and serve.